Welcome everybody to Stooks Baseball Cards and Curiosities. Um, this will be a short um, video. Um, went to a show this weekend, the March Twin City Sports Collectors Club show. It was just a packed, packed room, barely moved. There was certain places where you had to wait several minutes before you could even take a step. Tables were packed. And that's even with uh, quite a few people going to Chicago for the big show. We still had a big full house. Um, and I was able to find a few things. Um, one item I already have going to PSA DNA for authentication is uh, one of those 1991 Upper Deck out of 3,000 autographs, this one was Harmon Killebrew. And I got it for a pretty good price. But it was just a packed crowd. And there wasn't as many uh, vintage dealers as there usually is. But some of my favorite guys were there. And I'll show you a few things that I picked up at the show. This first item is a 1975, I believe. No. 1971 and that's Frank Quillacy that's a snapshot from the Minnesota Twins looks like a Metropolitan Stadium it's hard to believe that's two stadiums ago with the Twins it's about a 3 by 5 size pretty nice photo next item I, I bought was a McGregor advertising card for with Zoila for Salas. This is from 1965 and Zoila was the American League MVP in 1965. Took the Twins World Series. One of the great Cuban stars that the Twins signed in their early days in Minnesota. Um, maybe even later days before they moved to Minnesota from Washington. These are nice black and white. They're like real photos, pretty much. And the next one is an exhibit card for my set. It's one of the tougher ones to find because it's a newer one. It's not a big star, but it's up in the price there with a lot of minor stars. It's Rich Rollins. And that'll fill a big hole in my exhibit set. And then the next group of... Uh, I bought was uh, I bought four Super Bowl tickets, and um, I do have a little small collection of Super Bowl tickets and four tickets. Uh, this is a pretty good addition. Here's Super Bowl thirty three. It's the Denver Broncos won that Super Bowl. Same with Super Bowl thirty two. This one they beat the Green Bay Packers. Brett Favre threw an interception toward the end of the game, and that pretty much sealed it for Denver. John Elway gets his first Super Bowl title after losing a few times. And this one is Super Bowl XI. That's the Minnesota Vikings versus the Oakland Raiders. And we all know who won that one, the Oakland Raiders. And finally, Super Bowl Nine. That's the first Super Bowl the Pittsburgh Steelers won. They beat, yes, the Minnesota Vikings. And it's just fun. It's just fun to get championship tickets. I've got um, baseball, World Series, playoff tickets, and I've got some Super Bowl. I've got some great college football tickets. Just uh, kind of a nice side hobby. And um, I'll put up a link below for the Twin Cities Sports Collectors Club. You don't have to be from Minnesota to be a, a member. We have members from all over the country. Just the only thing you have to do to um, that membership includes um, any of the events, um, banquets. You can set up a show if you're a member. And... Uh, we also have fantasy baseball. Um, the only thing with that is the, the payoff is you get club bucks that you can spend at the club show. 
But if anybody's going to be in Minnesota regularly in the next uh, near future, or if you're from Minnesota and you haven't been to the club show or not a club member, please, please feel free to browse the website that will be listed below and check out one of our shows at the Bloomington Armory here in Minnesota. Thank you everybody for watching and have a nice evening.